This is the point where I look at all the settings and hope I've pressed all the right buttons and uh, see that it looks like there are actually people watching, which is sort of bizarre for me to contemplate. I don't have a whole lot of clear um, vision for the, the format of what this is going to be. I'd certainly encourage you if you have, uh, if there are pieces that you'd like to hear, um, use the chat window, which I assume is working for everyone, but I have no way of really confirming that this is all very much uh, an experiment. Um, let's see, for the time being, I guess I will just, uh, play something else and, um, and go from there.
I see someone has confirmed for me uh, that the chat window is in fact working, so thank you for that. Um, anything you'd like to hear? <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, thank you very much. I think I will drop this down. Actually, why don't I play? Why don't I do something on the uke quickly? Um, be right back. It's just off the side. All of my. Um, instrument stands. All of my instrument stands are off at the uh, recording studio and I need to get some over here so I have an easier way to uh, swap these out. Um, all right. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing some improv but I think I'll do um, instead a piece that I wrote, uh, well, a collection of uh, tunes that I wrote. This is uh, dedicated to the memory of uh, a uh, very dear uh, cousin of mine who's uh, like a nephew to me. Um, uh, anyway, this is called Sweet for Grady. Maybe I'll check the tuning first.
grab the banjo. Right back. Again, this is really rather bizarre for me because there's there's no feed no direct feedback um, when I finish playing, and uh, it's just it's a very strange experience playing for playing live for a bunch of people that I can't see or hear. Uh, I'm gonna drop this down into uh, a different tuning. Maybe I should turn the banjo away from the mic so it's not quite so loud for you. Um, I'm going to play a piece called, uh, oh, <laughs> thank you for the uh, virtual applause. It is appreciated. Um, uh, thank, thank you all for all the, uh, the feedback again. It is nice to know. Um, <laughs> who all is out there listening? Um, and uh, let's see. I'm going to play a piece that uh, I really like a lot. This is one that's built out of a palette of nine different harmonics. If you touch the string at certain points, um, you prevent it from vibrating in certain ways and allow it to vibrate in certain other ways, and you get a different pitch than uh, what you would get if you just pressed it all the way down to the fretboard. Anyhow, uh, this is a piece called Titania's Music Box. Didn't mention I realize in any of the uh, any of the emails or things that I sent out about this was the duration that I was figuring on, which was uh, thinking maybe around 15 minutes or so. Though we can uh, that can fluctuate a bit from from week to week. But I think um, unless there's anything uh, anything specific anyone wants to hear, I'll just um, go back into Crestwood tuning here and maybe do one more improv piece and. Uh, and call it an, an afternoon or an evening and uh ah the clothes spin tune which happens to be in the tuning that i just tuned out of but, uh yeah that one's called the iron kettle 
This piece uh, was written based around the sound that you get by putting clothespins onto the bridge of the banjo, which essentially just makes the bridge very heavy. You know, the bridge, of course, being the piece of wood that uh, transmits the sound and the vibration of the strings into the head. And if you make that heavier, obviously that changes how quickly it'll move and uh, gives you a different, much woodier sound. And uh, I discovered that in this particular tuning, on this particular instrument, um, <laughs> uh, that if you play this string and that string together, they generate a subharmonic, which is one octave lower than that note. So if you can hear, you know, one octave lower, one octave lower, it's just kind of a low resonance that I thought was a lot of fun. And so I ended up playing with this tuning and um, and writing this piece, um, I should have done this before I changed out of this tuning. piece that I wrote in this tuning uh, with the clothespins, which is one of the other YouTube sketches. In fact, I think it's one of the ones that I used as pre-show music before this, but uh, I don't remember that, and that's not the one that was requested. So uh, here, unless this sounds wildly out of tune, is the iron kettle. sure what that means <laughs> uh, but yeah you're welcome mom and um, so yeah I um, I think I'll probably uh, stop there for now but thank you very very much to uh, everyone who's watching and um, I hope that uh, oh thank you uh, I hope that uh, you'll have some time next Monday to uh, stop by again 
and um, hope this can be a, a recurring thing and I'll get uh, less awkward as I get used to this. And um, got a lot of a lot of solo bench material that I oh oh my ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> um, all right, well, uh, maybe I'll play one more, um, more, one more piece before I finally uh, fully sign off. But uh, but yeah, I do want to keep these somewhat uh, short, also just so that um, so that you guys feel like you can um, join in on a regular basis without it being a major time imposition. Um, but I'm definitely wide open to feedback as to how long this should be, how structured it should be. I'd certainly like it to be as uh, as interactive as possible. Um. I may have to see if I can come up with some simple way to swap from the mic that's on the banjo to something else for when I'm tuning. Spins on the bridge, and uh, I'm back in Crestwood tuning. I actually wrote, um, I think, I think it was Crestwood, uh, one of my main solo banjo tunes in this tuning. I wrote it with the clothespins on, even though I don't normally play it with the clothespins on. But um, I, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of see see where this leads. Um, thank you once again, very very much for being here in a. Uh, virtual manner. However, the, the, the language for talking about this is very obscure, very confusing. Anyhow, thanks again, and um, here we go.
Thanks again.